everybody, please. Hope it's not too hot, but it's pretty warm. Thank you. So, we've had a big day in the stock market. Things are coming back, and they're coming back very rapidly, a lot sooner than people thought. People are feeling good about our country. People are feeling good about uh, therapeutics and possible vaccines. But we're going to go over quite a bit, and maybe at the end we'll take some questions if we have time. It's not too hot. Today I signed legislation and an executive order to hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Autonomy Act, which I signed this afternoon, passed unanimously through Congress. This law gives my administration powerful new tools to hold responsible the individuals and the entities involved in extinguishing Hong Kong's freedom. We've all watched what happened. Not a good situation. Their freedom's been taken away. Their rights have been taken away. And with it goes Hong Kong, in my opinion, because it will no longer be able to compete with free markets. A lot of people will be leaving Hong Kong, I suspect. And we're going to do a lot more business because of it, because we just lost one competitor. It's the way it is. We lost a very, very serious competitor, a competitor that we incentivized to take a lot of business and do well. And uh, we gave them a lot of business by doing what we did. We gave them things that nobody else had the right to do. And that gave them a big edge over other markets. And because of that edge, uh, they've done really historic business, tremendous business, far bigger than anybody would have thought years ago when we did this uh, gift. We, it was really a gift to freedom. Today, I also signed an executive order ending U.S. preferential treatment for Hong Kong. Hong Kong will now be treated the same as mainland China. No special privileges, no special economic treatment, and no export of sensitive technologies. In addition to that, as you know, we're placing massive tariffs and have placed very large tariffs on China. First time that's ever happened to China. Billions of dollars have been paid to the United States, of which I've given quite a bit to the farmers and ranchers of our country, because they were targeted. And that's been going on for three years. It's the first time anybody's ever done anything like that. And prior to the plague pouring in, from China. They were having the worst year, as you know, in 67 years. And I don't want them to have a bad year. I want them to have a good year. But they were taking advantage of the United States for many, many years. And that's uh, stopping. But then the, then the virus came in, and uh, the world is a different place. But we're now getting back. And one of the reasons the market's doing so, it's almost at the point that it was at prior to the plague. Almost. We're getting very close. It's a great thing. It's an amazing thing, what our people have done and what they've endured. No administration has been tougher on China than this administration. We imposed historic tariffs. We stood up to China's intellectual property theft at a level that nobody's ever come close. We confronted untrustworthy Chinese technology and telecom providers. We convinced many countries, many countries, and I did this myself, for the most part, not to use Huawei because we think it's an unsafe security risk. It's a big security risk. I talked many countries out of using it. If they want to do business with us, they can't use it. Just today, I believe that U.K. announced that uh, they're not going to be using it. And that was up in the air for a long time, but they've decided. And you look at Italy, you look at many other countries. We withdrew from the Chinese-dominated WHO, and we fully rebuilt the United States military, the WHO, World Health Organization. Uh, we were paying close to $500 million a year. China was paying $39 million a year. And uh, China had too much say. They worked it very hard, which is a uh, Bad thing done by our past administrations, but we were tough and we were saying, I was asking, I said, why are we paying so much more than China? China has 1.4 billion people. We have 325. 
probably 325 million approximately. Nobody can give the exact count. We're trying to get an exact count, but you have over the years many illegals who have come into the country, so it depends on how you want to count it. But you could say 325 to 350 million people as opposed to 1.4 billion people. And the world trade world trade is terrible. That deal is terrible. The world health is a terrible deal. We've been very tough on the World Trade Organization, and we've been, uh, I guess, as tough as you can get on world health. We withdrew our money. We told them we're getting out. Doesn't mean that someday we won't go back in. Maybe we will when it's correct.